Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to make ID cards of students, employees, etc. with their photos using Mail Merge in Microsoft Publisher. First of all, the most important thing you will need is a source data in Microsoft Excel file in which all the details of the student or employees etc. is given. For example, here in this Excel file, you can see a source data of the students which includes their first name, surname, unique ID, class, division, age, contact and address. For adding photos, you have to paste the students or employees photos location link in their respective row. For making it easier, you will have to follow some simple rules. First of all, make a folder in which all the photos of the students or employees are placed. Another most important thing is that extension of all photos should be same. For example, all photos should be in same format either in JPG or PNG or etc. Because photos with different extension will not work. If you are unable to view extension of your photos, then click here on view tab and then place check on file name extension. Now you will be able to see file extension. Always remember to rename photos with students or employees unique ID, which is given in Excel file. It may be employee ID, GR number, scholar ID or etc. You can see here, we have renamed all photos with the unique ID. For example, Salman's unique ID is UI40401 and we have renamed his photo with the same ID UI40401. Please do not rename photos with their name as possibility of two students or employees with same name will lead into mismatch. Now open the photos folder, place your cursor here on the address bar and you will see the folder's location address. Now enter backslash key from your keyboard and you will see the address links of all the photos as you can see here. What we will do is, we will copy this first photo's address link from the address bar and we will paste it into excel file here. So as you can see, this is Salman's photo's location link and even you can see Salman's unique id in his photo's location link here. But for mail merge, we need to insert each student's photo's location link in their respective row. So do we have to copy each and every individual link and paste it here? Or there is some solution for this? Yes, that's why only we had renamed photos with their unique IDs. So what we will do is, we will delete unique ID UI40401 from this link and cut .jpg which is the extension of photos and will paste it here. That's why we have said earlier that all photos should be in same format. And now we will copy this both and will paste here like this. Now select a cell here and enter equals to sign from your keyboard then select the photos location link now press and shortcut key from your keyboard then select unique id for salman from here and then again press and shortcut key and now select dot jpg and press enter. You can see here our link for photos is created. Now select the link and drag the cursor from here till the last data and you can see here we have created each and every photos location link respectively. You can recheck this links by their unique IDs. So finally photos location link is created. 
Now give a name to our links header as photos. Copy this whole column and again paste them here as paste values only. And delete these two rows. Save the excel file and name it whatever you want. We have named it as id cards. Now let's move to Microsoft Publisher. Open Publisher. Go to quick toolbar ribbon above, click on insert tab and click on catalog pages. A catalog merge area will appear as you can see here. Now delete this first page above catalog. Again go to quick toolbar ribbon above. You can see here a new tab is created. Catalog tools. Click on catalog tools. Now in the catalog tools ribbon. Click on the first option, add list. Three options will appear. As we had already created our source data, so we will use existing list option. Now, as you will click on use existing list, a new window will appear, which will ask you the location of your source data file, which we had previously saved it on desktop and renamed it as ID cards. So here, we will select desktop, mail merge folder and id cards excel file click on open a new window will appear asking in which sheet we have saved our data as we have saved our data in sheet 1 we will select sheet 1 press ok a window with complete data list will appear here you can see the names of students and front of each name there is a checkbox. If you want some students name not to be printed then uncheck them and their ID cards will not be created. Press OK. You can edit this list anytime by clicking here on edit list option. Now in catalog tools format click here on rows and column. Here you have to decide how many rows and columns per page you want to print. If you need more than 5 rows per page, then click on more rows or columns and change accordingly. We need 6 rows and 2 columns. Press OK. Now you can see here, we have 6 rows and 2 columns. So 12 ID cards per page will be created. Now we need a good background for ID cards. So click on insert tab, click on shapes, select rounded rectangle and adjust it here in merge area. Remember your shape should not fall beyond the merge area. Click on drawing tool format tab, select any of these shape styles. Now select rectangle and right click and select add text. Now type name and go to text field select first name from drop down add space and again go to text field now select surname you can click on preview to get view of your ID card now Click on picture field and select photos. Adjust photos according to your wish. You can see we have added pictures of students successfully. Salman, Greta, Brett, Beyonce, Kim, Maxwell. Now let's add another fields here. Type unique ID Go to text field Select unique ID from drop down Now type class Go to text field Select class from drop down Type division Go to text field Select division from drop down. Now type 
age go to text field select age from drop down now type contact go to text field select contact from drop down and at last type address go to text field select address from drop down and all the details of students will be shown here you can change line spacing from home tab and you can even edit formatting according to your wish for example fonts colors and etc and finally we have generated id cards of all the students in very easiest way using mail merge thank you for watching please like share and subscribe thank you